With the release of Sea of Thieves Season 11 comes a brand new way to make levels and an increase to the level cap with five distinctions. So because of that, I'm making a series where I talk about the best way to level up on every faction post Season 11. And in today's video, we talk about the Reapers. If you want to see the other videos of this series, make sure you subscribe with your notification bell on. If you want to check me out on Twitch, feel free. You're welcome. Come on by. It's fun. Right, so Reapers is a little bit different. Unlike every other emissary in Sea of Thieves, Reaper has no set mission or way to level up, aside from just getting out there and being a Reaper. So we're going to talk about what you can do. First of all, it has been spoken about that you can effectively level up Reaper through Hourglass Dives. However, you only really get Reaper levels for lowering your Reaper flag. And I'd argue that it's more difficult for the average player as no one's going to get on a massive streak any given day in the week unless you spend a lot of time on this game. And that's just how it is. Casual players don't care enough to do this. So I'm not going to recommend that at all. However, it's a Reaper. You still need to fight people. That's the point of the emissary. So without further ado, your first step to leveling up Reapers is getting a Reapers 5 flag. That can be done many ways. You can either find a server that's active and steal the loot that's left over, find a quiet server that has events and take them for the levels, or do anything you want in your means to get Reapers 5. It doesn't matter how you get there, but getting there is important. My personal recommendation though, is finding a somewhat active server that has an active event with some people working on it, or alternatively, a server that has a couple Reapers 3s, 4s and 5s hanging around just doing their own thing. You can also use the raid voyages and other factions to your advantage if you want to get some extra levels too, although keep note, whatever faction you do dive to, it's only going to give you loot for that company, so it does have its pros and cons. You could probably argue you'd almost be more effective just sitting there and doing a world event in the server that you spawn in on. But either way, getting level 5 is your first step. From there, that's where a real method kicks in. So once you've made it to level 5, which is usually the hardest part of this entire process, head on over to the Reapers and sell, but make sure you do not lower your Reapers 5 flag, as that is essential. From here, it's safe to assume you've cleared the entire server and you're a Reaper 5 looking for something else to do. So you're going to want to take your Reapers 5 to another server, and there's a really easy way way to do this and I'm going to show you now. With the introduction of this new system, we now have the ability to dive into another server with a voyage. However, the thing is, if you don't finish that voyage, you have a 15 minute cooldown period before you can dive into another server, which can be quite annoying. This also works with raids and any sort of diving mechanic. And with this method, we're going to completely bypass that altogether. And it's perfectly fine. It's not even a bug. It's not an exploit. It's nothing. It's just utilizing the game mechanic to its full extent. So once you're ready to dive, head to the voyage section under Gold Horde and have a look for the shortest dig mission you can. Every single time you do this mission, it's going to be one island with two chests very close to where you surface on a new server. And most of the time, it's actually on a small island too, so that makes it even easier. Now, I don't have to tell you how easy it is to do two chest digs on an island. That takes under a minute to complete. So what you're doing is essentially jumping through servers in under a minute because the dive process is usually instant. The completing of the mission is really quick within 20 seconds and there's very little downtime. So once you make it into the new server, if you are alone, finish that mission in a couple seconds and take a look on your map and have a look if there's anything going on. The things you want to look for are pretty typical, whether they be Reapers on the server, Emissaries on the server that are showcased by a little grey ship, or contested events like the Fort of Fortune, Fort of the Damned, and Fleet of Fortune. And once you've found that, you can pretty much guess what you need to do. Be a Reaper, take down the boats, sell, and repeat this process as many times as you like. Now look, I do understand that this is fairly advanced for an average casual player, but if you do want to be a Reaper and make levels, this is the most effective way. If you are, however, worried about this method, you can also use this Reaper 5 jump mechanic to your advantage too. If you are a Reaper 5 and you jump to a server and you see it's empty, you could technically just go ahead and do a world event, sell that, and then repeat this process. It is fairly universal, but it is way more effective if you are engaged in PvP and willing to risk it all. So with that being said, that's the most effective way to level up as the Reaper's Emissary. Take note again, it's completely different to the other Emissaries. You can't do a set voyage. It does rely on taking down other boats, but now you know how to do that effectively and to minimize downtime between each sink. Also, I want to give a quick shout out to the people who showed me this method. That in turn is Nessie Does, Bro Torture, and Andy Sig. Absolutely amazing streamers and good people. Make sure you check them out. With all of that out of the way though, thank you so much for watching and good luck out there. If you want to see any more videos on how to level up factions, make sure you subscribe to the notification bell and check my channel as I do have a list of all of them on my channel. Thanks for watching and I'm going to catch you all in the next one. Goodbye for now.